Hello, welcome to another TechWizKid Kid 24 video tutorial. Um, with a new update from Valve, um, community mappers in Left 4 Dead are able to easily and quickly spread about their maps around the world so everybody can enjoy them. Problem is, for a good couple hours after the update came out, nobody knew how to do it. So, I'm going to help you guys out. I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to make your BSP and nav files into a .vpk file so you can spread them out, people can use them. So the first thing you're going to do is head to your Steam apps folder and get to the maps part of it. Just give me a second here to get there. I'll put the um, exact path, if you don't know it, inside of the description. And head to the maps folder. And then what you're going to do is just find the two folders, that, the two files you want, to .nav and .bsb, and you're just going to copy those. And you're going to go back up a level and go to the add-on folders, the add-on folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder, and you can just name that whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Trench Street. Just try to make it simple so it's easier in the future when we get to the, dot, the VPK stuff. Uh, but open that up new folder again, name this folder maps and you can just double click maps and paste the .nav and the .bsp that you just made right in there. Um, next if you need any materials or extra materials that you have simple as just making a material folder and copy and paste it in there. Um, any new models you have again simple as making a models folder and putting all the data from models in there However, if you have need materials for those models, go to back into the materials folder and make another new folder called models, and then put your materials for the models in there. Yeah, I know it's weird. Um, in order to make this video as short as possible, I'm not going to be showing you how to um, be adding the custom campaign posters as of now, but I'll probably make another video or just update this one on how to do that. But basics to get it working. So after you make all those three folders, go to new text document add on info dot text alright so open that up and what I did was I went to the left for dead wiki and I just got the uh, sort of a, a template for the add on info and what you do is you can just change the title of your map and this is all gonna show up on their extra screen it's when they put the, S, the file in there so you can just change it um, the URL of your map, um, the author tagline, stuff like that. And that's all set. You just save that. And you can close out. And then what you're going to do is going to make another new folder. Name this one Missions. Open that up and make another new text doc document. Uh, this time it doesn't really matter what you name it. It's just the data inside that really matters. Again, you can just head back to the Left 4 Dead wiki. I'll give you a link for that. But this is just like the other thing, just fill in your map data. Now, that's one important thing about the missions file. The website um, part, you have to put a working website um, download. I just made the link to my Left 4 Dead maps um, uh, download link. It works fine. Uh, when someone tries to join the lobby, it just brings them to that website, but that's extremely important. Don't forget that, or nobody can download your map. All right, version, uh, author, and this is the different modes. You're gonna have co-op, versus, and um, survivor. For co-op, you just put the name of your map, what you want the display name to be when, like, you press tab and stuff like that, and what image you want to show up as a little um, thumbnail picture. Then, if you have another map, just put it right in here, and it'll go right to that map. Versus, you just put in the versus map, and survival, you just put in the survival map. Simple as that. File, save, you can close out of that. And you can go back to, to the main folder. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to make the actual VPK. So go back to your Steam folder common and this time go to bin um, it's gonna be the first bin not the second one because the first one doesn't have it in it and look for 
if I can find it, vpk.exe. Here it is. And just create a shortcut for that. Drag it to your desktop. Go back to your add ons folder. Drag that to your desktop. And then it's simple as just dragging the uh, folder you made into the VPK shortcut. And a nice little icon will pop up over here. And this is your .vpk. This you can then um, make a new zip file for. Drag it in there. And there you go. You can upload that to any website. Um, that's your VPK file. And all you gotta do is double click it. And it installs right into your game. And you can go right to the add-ons menu and that's all set. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it helped you guys out. And good luck with your...